Let's talk about the boards in Miro and what you can create with them. From the dashboard view, you can see all your boards, which can each be devoted to a different project, use case, or whatever you need. We'll create something new from scratch. When you start a new board, you can choose from one of our pre-built templates or continue without one. Spread throughout several categories, we have templates for use cases such as journey mapping, retrospectives, brainstorming, and strategic planning. If you're wondering what you can do with Miro, start by exploring the templates. Let's add this Kanban. One way to use templates is as a starting point to create something else, like a board for daily standups. You can reshape and change the content to fit your needs. Since we'll be using this every day, we'll go ahead and save it as a custom template. and allow anyone in my team to add it to their board as well. We'll use stickies, cards, and lines to fill in our board. First, I'll choose the color of my sticky note and type some text. Tags are a feature that allow me to add some additional context, like what product this relates to, for example. A lesser known feature is the bulk mode. It allows me to quickly add several stickies with half as many clicks. Stickies are useful for simple and quick ideas or tasks. I'll use cards next if I need a bit more flexibility. With cards, I can add a summary, assign it to a team member, schedule a due date, and use the same tag function we saw with stickies. Finally, a long form description can be added without losing the high level summary. As my last step for this board, I'll use lines to mark some dependencies. I can use the line tool itself, or I can click, hold, and drag on one of these blue dots to easily connect the objects. Now, as you continue working, your boards will get bigger and bigger. Frames will help us keep all this varied content organized. You can add them by dragging the frame tool across the canvas or choose from one of the available ratios. Frames enable exporting as a PDF, presentation mode, and each one gets indexed in the frames list for easier navigation. As our last topic, I want to point out the features that will truly enhance your workflow. If you click on the three dots of the toolbar, you can see there are many features we haven't explored yet. You can upload files from your computer or cloud storage provider. You can incorporate new use cases like mind maps, user story maps, and wireframes. You can manage issues from tools like Jira and Rally. You can add images and icons without switching tabs. And you can even bridge the gap between the analog and digital with the amazing Sticky Recognition tool. To explore all the different add-ons and features, you can visit the marketplace and enable the ones that matter to you. When you find one you really like, add it to your main toolbar. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.